All right, so in this video, we're going to show you how you can utilize the flatten button in order to change your image from a cut to a print. And a lot of times you'll come over here in the insert images and you'll see the entire image library and you'll come across these that say print. Um, they're the print and cut type of images, but you'll also come across images uh, that are cut, but you would like to print them as well. So in this example, I'm going to turn this one right here into a print then cut image. Now, like I said, we do this by clicking the flatten button. Now, are, there are some rules that go along with this in order to have this button activated. So if the standard image contains a draw or a score line uh, within it, uh, that flatten icon will not be available. The other thing is we need to uh, you know, click multiple layers. So that be two or more layers need to be clicked. So we do have two or more layers, but we do have uh, this right here, which is a pen, pen drawing here. It is hidden, but it's that is what is causing us to not have the flattened image available to us. So how can we get rid of it? Well, the quickest way here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and right click and click on group. And when I do that, you'll see that they all go to their own individual layer. So if I go ahead and select everything, now we can see we have multiple layers selected and the flatten icon is now available. So what the flatten tool will do, it will basically turn any multi-layer image into a single layer uh, that is a printable image. Now this flatten tool will uh, completes two actions all at once. Uh, not only does it turn your multi-layer into a printable image, but it merges this item into a single layer. And so once I click this, you'll see what happened. And now we have that little print icon right there. Now, something to note is if you wanted to have the inside color a different color, uh, you're going to have to make all your color corrections uh, prior to flatten. But it's really easy. All you have to do is select this and go to unflatten, and you'll be able to manipulate uh, the color here just in case you want to change it to something else. So that's how you would change it. Um, based on that. And once you are done, you can select everything again and go to flatten. And then all you have to do is click the go and you'll see that you do have the registration lines and that indicates that you are making this a print then cut and it's going to come out quite nice. All right, so that's how you can change one of your cutting images into a nice uh, print then cut feature. And this also works with your uploaded uh, images as well. So not just the ones that come with Cricut, but the ones that you can bring in as well.